Our approach to Bluegreen deployments for serverless applications on AWS consists of two processes. One is replication of the data. So we are replicating DynamoDB tables, uh, data from S3 buckets. And second is publish, which basically creates a traffic manager uh, to send uh, some of the traffic to green environment and some of the traffic to blue environment. So next I will uh, jump into the demo of the blue, uh, the replication part. And I have here two applications, exactly the same applications, two separate environments, has nothing to do with each other. Right now if I create a blue record number one, green record number one, and I refresh, you see no replication is happening across these two applications. Next step, I'll create the replication, I'll start the replication, which is these two environments I identify through uh, two different hashes. And as you can see here, it takes the hash from the blue environment and creates a DynamoDB stream. So right now, the data that I see in blue environment, I should see them in green environment. Okay, so refresh here, refresh here, and there you go, it takes a little bit of time until it refreshes, uh, sometimes DynamoDB streams, it takes until it, some time until it triggers. So let's move on, um, we'll do start, which basically creates the replication between um, so now the data from green environment should be replicated in the blue environment. Meanwhile, let's see if this data has been updated. Yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, so this table has been updated. So now I need to create another record, and which will trigger uh, the execution of DynamoDB streams. Refresh. Okay takes a little bit uh, for the blue environment now to pick up until the lambda is warmed up. But as you can see in the green environment I have all the records replicated from the blue environment. Uh, here I don't have all the records. Let's give it a try one more. So from time to time it takes, uh, takes a little bit of time to, to start the reciprocation. So the, here we have all of them, and there you go, we have all of them in the blue environment as well. So let's say I want to not only create, but also to update, and I'm updating all the blue records, and let's see in the green environment, there you go. And the other way around, I'm updating all the green records, and let's check them in the blue environment. There you go. Uh, for some reason this wasn't updated. So something went wrong here. But anyway, I can delete records as well. Let's just leave these two. And we'll refresh over here. And there you go. So this is the first step of the blue-green deployment approach. The second step is basically running the publish command and specifying a percentage. Percentage is right now I want to make it 50 50. So, okay, my parameter was wrong. If I do like this, um, just for the sake of this uh, presentation, I've warmed up this process so it doesn't take 50 minutes, uh, but it takes only a couple of seconds. As you can see, I started with the brule.deep.mg and it uh, re -loaded me, it uh, redirected me to green.deep.mg. And there you go, it says blue green environment, it selected green. If I delete that and I go again to blue, it redirects me to, let's see, green again. Well, it's supposed to be 
Let's try one more time. If I get this blue, there you go. It goes and redirects me to blue one. Okay. Uh, again, if I go here and I delete that, if I go to blue environment, it redirects me to blue one again. So this is the process that uh, uses the latest technologies from AWS uh, Lambda as well as a Lambda at Edge that allows us to redirect all this traffic during the blue-green deployment process. Keep in mind, this is a temporary step. It's supposed to be a temporary step. Uh, right now, it does only the redirect on the CloudFront level. In the future, we'll be doing more um, uh, no better processes where uh, the domain names don't change. It just redirects uh, internally the traffic, as well as we'll be building the blue green deployment for the backend using only uh, API Gateway, the best Lambda, and so on. Thank you for watching.